They are the bulbs that light the Great White Way. Women in theater, a legacy all their own. Dazzling, inspiring, paving the way while they're at it. That's all in a day's work for ladies like Deidre Harrington and Kelly O'Hara. Anybody who has the opportunity needs to see you on Broadway because you're not just a phenomenal actress, but you're so generous. Can you just explain to us what it's like being a woman in Broadway? It feels powerful. It feels like I have a, a purposeful job to bring joy to people, but also have a voice for others. We have a long way to go as far as that we have more of a voice in our storylines, that things are written so that those female storylines can be celebrated and held up as we get older because we still have stories to tell yes. lots of them let's talk kiss me kate all right all okay right, all right so it. it has a bit of a, a bit of an update it does feel fresh and it does feel very 2019. we have changed a few things there was a monologue that kate has when she comes in the end and she literally says i'm ashamed that women are so simple you know we've changed that we've changed that to not swing the pendulum from all men to all women but to the middle to work together, to give each other our hand and offer a truce. I'm willing to, if you are. From one powerhouse to another, it's not a moment, it's the movement. And Deidre Harrington is one of the creative forces behind it. Tell us about this theater company. We're a theater company that focuses on developing and producing new work by artists of color and really giving artists of color the opportunity to experiment with aesthetic and form and style and for a place for us to develop work and really tell our stories in the ways in which we want to tell them. I know that this is important work that needs to be done, yeah. and more of it needs to be done, but I want to hear it from you. Why is this so important? To see that sort of sigh of relief that our artists have when they get there and they're like, oh, great. Like, I don't have to explain my experience. I don't have to speak for all of my race or all of my identity or whatever. I can just be. And to really be able to provide that space where our audiences can see themselves on stage, to see their stories on stage, and for us to be presenting work that's really digging into the issues that are affecting our community. In a perfect world, what does the future of theater look like? I hope that in an ideal world, all of the theaters are creating these spaces where in particular, you know, artists of color, LGBTQ artists, you know, differently abled artists are able to walk into a space and feel fully supported. And I think also to uplift the organizations and the, that have been doing the work for years to just keep pushing through, keep, keep striving. I mean, you guys have been doing the work and you've been doing it for almost 12 years. Yeah. So congratulations and I can't wait to see what the future holds for you guys. Thank you so much.